Hi y'all. You seem like you might be new here. Well, if it's your first time or you just haven't done it yet, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Hit the bell to know what we get up to. and welcome to another two video Tuesday. This week we decided that we wanted to join the trend of guinea pig channels showing what they do to clean out their cage. I think this is a great idea for anyone that's new to keeping guinea pigs or just wants new ideas for how to keep the cage. The first thing that we do is pull out all of the toys and other accoutrements. Sometimes it takes some encouragement to get Fozzie out of the tunnel. We shake them off and get all of the poops off of them. This is usually a signal to the piggies that they need to find a place where they feel comfortable to spend the cage cleaning time. Due to excess spatial concerns, we are all going to squeeze ourselves into the little cage. Guinea pig logic for the win. Most of the time, my piggos prefer to spend cage cleaning time in conjunction with floor time. They are allowed to free roam anytime I am in this room with them, which is most of the time because it is my work office. That means that it does get pretty messy because we use wood chips, but I think it's super fun for the guinea pigs. This week I put all of their toys in one spot and they have decided that that is the most fun spot to free roam. As you can see, it's created a jungle gym of sorts and it's super fun to watch them enjoy it. After the pigs have decided where they're going to be, I will try to get as much pulled up as I can in one fell swoop. I put a layer of cardboard down and then a layer of newspaper and then their wood chips on top. So I do a process that my brother and I dubbed jelly rolling a long time ago when we were raising pigs as kids. Now don't be confused by us having given it a name. It's not a complicated process. It just means that we try to roll up as much of the excrement as we can in one, well, roll. I was rather proud of this one and how much that I could get into one roll. I've never done it this well before and I am pleased that I could do it to show you and make it look like I am a complete expert at the rolling process. The next part of the process would be fairly simple if the guinea pigs didn't try to help so much. Really all that needs to be done is that I need to get the old mess out and get everything ready to put new bedding in. Unfortunately, it was at this part of the process that I realized the water bottle had been leaking and had bled all the way through the base of the cage onto my 100 year old hardwood floors. This marvelous turn of events led to some mold on the base of the cage and the need for me to give my floor immediate attention. I use Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. This is a non-toxic plant-based cleaner, so it's safe for the guinea pigs, which is very, very important. Once that was mostly dry, I came back in with some white vinegar because I wasn't fully satisfied with the way things were looking. This is again a non-toxic choice, so it's something that I use frequently around the guinea pigs. At this point, my cage is kind of old. It's a Midwest cage that I got five years ago, I think. I decided that I was going to add an extra layer of protection for my floors. So all I'm doing here is taking a feed bag that I had emptied for the guinea pigs and I'm going to open it up. I am channeling my inner pioneer and in trying to make use of the materials that I already have and recycle. We like that here, reduce, reuse, recycle. I 
often let the guinea pigs play without access to a bedded cage for a little bit too long for their little bladders. My bad, I enjoy watching them way too much. But the next step in the process is the cardboard layer. I recycle again and use the food boxes that we get from Chewy to put this layer down. It's important to take the tape off of this because your guinea pigs will chew on it. I have yet to figure out why, I just know that they will. Once that's done, I'm going to open this box right on this seam that I'm showing you. This should hopefully make it easy to have a straight edge to put against the edge of the cage and help make sure that there are no gaps for guinea pig excrement to get to the bottom of the cage. That all being said, one has to realize that one of the primary properties of guinea pig poop is that it will go everywhere no matter what you do. So bear that in mind. Hey, before we go any further, have you all seen this woman I hate seeing these every time I clean the cage and I want to do something to help. So if you've seen this woman, please, please, please call this number now. 1-800-THE-LOST. Okay, jumping back in, the next step is for me to find a coupon that I want to keep and then put newspaper all over the cardboard layer of the cage. After that, I need to put down my pine shavings. Now, a lot of people prefer fleece and that's perfectly fine. We go back and forth, but for the most part, we've decided to use pine shavings. I use the Tractor Supply brand of fine shavings for the guinea pigs. Some people have expressed concern that this may cut their feet. I have never, ever, ever encountered that problem. I have had a problem with Vanna shoving hay into her eyeball, but that is neither here nor there or pertaining to this video. And there you have it, a clean cage for the guinea pigs. In this particular case, we were live streaming and I asked you all to decide what kind of toys they were going to have in their cage this week. And the only vote that we got was hay tunnels. So at that point I put them in, but that was a little later and I didn't film it happening, but I'll give you a Vanna, how about that? We hope you have a great week and we will see you next week for two video Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. See you then, be cute, bye.